Hey guys, Bo here. Hey, welcome to my uh, 6x14 cargo trailer conversion. It's going to be my office away from home when I'm on the road. I'll have a place to sleep. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is I'm going to do an unpackaging of this little uh, thing here, but a little story first. As I've been coming up with, the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is I like the fact that with the trailer it's kind of by itself, you don't have to worry about oil changes, it's pretty simple. I didn't want to have a black tank or a gray tank, I wanted to keep it really simple. We'll have a porta potty. Most places we go have showers, so, uh, and I don't go out for weeks at a time, so. Uh, anyway, as I was fantasizing on this whole build, one of the things I thought about you know, when you're plugged in on the AC side, you usually use a little portable heater. And they heat these things up really. I mean, this is 84 square feet, so it heats up pretty fast if you shut the windows. But you really want to leave the windows open a little bit, depending on uh, what type of heating you're using. But anyway, long story short, I thought about what about a wall mount fireplace? That'd be cool. And uh, you can pick them up pretty cheap. And I went online, looked. And the smallest one I could find was maybe 26 inches long. And that just, I couldn't figure out a spot to fit it in my plan. So, uh, so then I started looking for mini heaters and I came up with this. And this thing is like 24 bucks on Amazon and 24 bucks at Walmart. Uh, the one on Amazon takes a little bit longer. It's called a mini hearth. Uh, puts out 41 BTUs and uh, let's see who's it by oh Comfort Glow is the company so that's what you want to look for Comfort Glow uh, mini heater bookcase heater um, but it's also a fireplace so I needed something fairly small that I could put right in this area because the bed's going to be here as long as it's up It'll be a table here, and I can build a shelf or build it in somehow to where uh, it's not against the wall because it has to have space behind it for the airflow. And that's actually where the switches are. So you can't mount this to the wall, but you can put it on a shelf. You know, I can mount it out just, you know, four inches or something. That would work. So here you have it. It got good reviews online. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Now you gotta understand, we're in uh, Colorado, so in the summertime, we mostly go to the high country. In the wintertime, maybe I'll go somewhere warm, but I'm never gonna be in really hot, hot weather. I don't plan on it, but we'll have, that's what the Fantastic Fan's for. But uh, check it out. So there you go. So I'm going to put it about right here. And as long as it's mounted up a little bit, I think this is going to be a great heater. Then I can get rid of my milk box, which I was going to put in the kitchen when we needed it when we were plugged in. Uh, I have a heater buddy that I'm going to use butane that will be hooked in. And I'm going to use that in the kitchen by the stove, and uh, we'll use that and then turn it off when we go to sleep. But these things you can put, oh, check it out. These things you can, hey, I like it. I like it. And you know what I love about these is even if it's not hot and you just want to have the ambiance, you can just turn it on. That's kind of how it is right now. The heat's not on it and uh, just have the ambiance with all the lights out. Oh, that'll look cool. I'm really into lighting, so there's going to be all kinds of different lights in here, LED-wise. And uh, they say it's a pretty powerful heater, so... We'll find out, but... It's all metal, and uh, I'm impressed. I, I would say, yay. I would recommend it. So we'll see how long the uh, heat works on it, but or the flame. But there's a bulb down here. So someone I've heard people say that the bulb's gone out, which I could see, especially if uh, 
you know, if you have anything in the cold weather and it goes on and off, it's going to burn out eventually. But uh, if you can replace it, then that's not bad. Be pretty cool. So there you have it. I give this a thumbs up. It's a little mini heater by Comfort Glow. It's called a mini bookcase heater. And uh, if you're looking for a little option in a camper or something and you want a little ambiance, there you go. I like it. Okay, well, eventually I'm, I'm starting to go crazy because i got to get out there and start doing some shooting. And, uh, start working on some images. I'm going to leave this on a little bit and see how it heats up. I had, uh, oh, I had a dome in here the other day when I was painting and uh, it, got, it got really nice and comfortable in here so that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the 6x14 because it's secure hard walls when you're in bear country you know last year a guy got yanked out of a tent that's very unusual by his head with a bear and uh, that was up towards Allen's Park almost Rocky Mountain National Park and uh, and there seems to be more of them anymore. So I'd rather be in a hard case. And these things are easy to heat, easy to cool. So I'm sold on them. And it's going to be nice to be able to drop it, have a base camp, go out, shoot, come back, and be able to edit or just relax, uh, be able to recharge batteries. So there you have it. So I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Sorry that I'm not uh, posting my m normal uh, imagery, but uh, we'll get back to that as well. But uh, this is going to make it all so much nicer. So hope you're having a good day. Any questions, any comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And uh, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And we're going to keep going, and hopefully we'll trick this thing out, and it'll look pretty good when I get done with it, at least good enough. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I don't have a major woodworking skills or anything like that, but I'm good at watching YouTube videos, and uh, it's amazing what you can learn. And that's the fun of it. But uh, that was one of the reasons I wanted to do this, because then I could custom it. There's going to be a little table here that's going to come out. That's what this little ottoman, this little storage box, and uh, hopefully maybe a couch here, we'll see. And then the bed there, and a uh, galley in the back, kitchen in the front. Anyway, you've heard it before, so talk to you later. See ya!